What up? It's McLean. If this is your first time on my channel, I'm a production designer. I do a lot of real-time rendering in the commercial and movie and TV space. I'm sort of on a personal journey with real-time rendering to visualize the sets I'm going to create for work. Yeah. That's a job. Basically functions like you're making video game levels. Unreal Engine is kind of the most popular at the moment because that's what the Mandalorian used. We can have game engine, real-time render, and video wall technology coming together to create a backdrop. So this is what our laptops and computers are capable of today. But back in America in 1999, people thought all technology might stop working because it couldn't handle the change from the year 1999 to 2000. This is not one of the summer movies where you can close your eyes during the scary parts. When that didn't happen, it was certainly the dawn of a new era with Radiohead's Kid A. I was amazed when I read this week that Tom York and Radiohead had made an immersive art installation within Unreal Engine, all about the Kid A amnesiac era. Basically, a video game museum. So I wanted to see how that would feel. I go to a lot of museums on this channel, but this will be a lot different because you can do it from the comfort of your own home. I found this video on Christie's YouTube. I guess they just auctioned a bunch of the original paintings, but it's kind of cool to see the headspace they were in. Because this period of work was when we found a kind of voice through the artwork and it just developed into something exciting and something wasn't just for a record cover, it was something way beyond that. What's amazing about this Radiohead video game is that it's completely free right now. You can play it on PC, Mac, or PlayStation 5 if you have one. I played through it a little bit the other day. It was such an immersive and engaging experience. I wanted to know what you would think about it. So my three standout moments. First, going through the painting for how to disappear completely and just falling into this kind of painted glitch pixelated world where an image exploded into a three-dimensional kind of melting painting you're flying through. It's just all really unexpected. I guess that's the fun of having a art museum where the exhibits can just be coded instead of had to be built completely. Another fun aspect is that I'm in complete control of the motion and where I look and point. Now, you may rightly bemoan the graphic level of this immersive experience, but I remind you, this is free. My next standout moment, this incredible spiral of kind of growing zoetropic animations where the monsters are all around you and then they clearly fly around. There's a big theme of minotaurs, volcanoes, the ice age, mountains on this record, and this immersive experience kind of keys you into all of that. Definitely my favorite part of this was in the motion picture soundtrack kind of section. There's sort of like a Unreal Engine version of the Guggenheim, this spirally unending loop that repeats itself until you do go outside and see the mountains from the album art of Kid A. And for the first time, the camera zooms out of your body as you realize like the Grim Reapers just huddled over you here and you're a Minotaur. So in the journey you've gone through, they take you out of body and then remind you that you are a person in a body. Uh, for the end of this, which I thought was a really interesting choice. Of course, you exit through the gift shop, which in the modern day on a video game is a QR code you can scan with your phone, which is kind of interesting. It was kind of like the biggest bummer. There are all these QR codes, but they just link you to the online store, which is kind of like, all right, I don't really need those in the game. Like I know your little exit through the gift shop is cool and everything, but I don't know, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. There are times where it reminds me of Doom and Wolfenstein 3D and other like, really old school video games, but then there are times where the unreal engine of it all really shines and the ray traced floors and reflections are very present. And there's a total mood and vibe to each aspect of this museum. I also loved when you go in the center of the pyramid and it's kind of like the matrix. This was kind of surprising to me, but I don't know. There's cool 360 audio all around you too in that spatial audio sense. So play with headphones on. Hope you enjoyed this different kind of explainer video. I know it's like a little off topic for me. Just thought it was really cool. Again, it's free right now. You might as well check it out. Even if you're not into Radiohead, it's fun to be in a video game art museum. And I was surprised by quite a few things. So I'm Justin McLean. There are plenty of other production design videos on this channel as well as some fun travel ones too. We're gonna get into the Christmas spirit here soon, so I can't wait to check it out with you. Have a great day. Bye.